Hello, longboarding mom. I am in my kitchen today. I'm gonna show you how to make cranberry sauce, homemade. This is in a can. Um, it's a really simple, easy recipe. I usually do it on the stove top, but today I'm gonna show you how to do it in an instant pot. Um, I've got whole cranberries here. These ones have been frozen. You can do fresh or frozen. I'm not as lucky as my sister where she gets to go to the bogs, cranberry bogs. I don't know if that's called right. I'm going to have to actually call her and ask her now. Um, but she gets fresh cranberries every year and she makes her cranberry sauce that way. Um, it's simple, easy ingredients. There is water, cranberries. I've got some little uh, orange peel. And if you don't know how to make an orange pill, you get this cute little tool here. Um, I think I got it from the Dollar Tree. And it's got little holes in it and you hold it like this, wash your oranges first. Um, these are little cuties. Uh, organic's probably best, but I just have a bag of cuties on me right now. You And you just take it and you scrape it along that. Um, I'm only making a half batch of cranberry sauce because my whole, I, I think I'm the only one in the family that eats it. Um, so it calls for four cups of cranberries. This is two cups of cranberries. Um, a tablespoon of orange peel, orange shreds, whatever these are called. Uh, I don't like a lot uh, it's very powerful and flavorful and stuff, so I'm only going to do probably a teaspoon because, like I said, I'm only doing a half batch. And then um, one cup of water, which I'm going to do a half cup of water, and I'm going to squeeze some juice from the little cuties into that to make a full cup of water. And then you need one cup of sugar. I use two oranges or little cuties and I squeeze the juice out of them. I added that to my water. Add your cranberries to the pot, your juice to the pot, sugar to the pot, one cup. And then you set your timer on high for two minutes after you put your lid on. I let it come to 10 minutes low pressure by itself and then I release the steam pressure. Um, it's a little bit more watery than what I, it's supposed to be. So I'm going to add just a little bit more cold cranberries. First I'm going to turn it off and then I'm going to put it on saute and I'm going to add just a couple more cranberries to it. Let it saute for just a little bit. Let it thicken up a little bit more. I think with the frozen cranberries and the one cup of water, um, it was just a little bit too much liquid. Um, I've never used frozen cranberries before, so we'll see. But it, it's already actually starting to thicken up a little more, so. Let it start to simmer and boil. Looks pretty good. And once it gets in the refrigeration, it will um, actually become more like a cranberry sauce.
Mm, the smell. 